disc golf team play in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems like a really weird place for a disc golf. What do you call that? Goal? Hole? Pin? I don't know. That? I don't know. Not a big disc golfer. But anyway, Ethan and I are out here at one of my favorite spots to go crawling. Uh, it's a park in a nearby town. We brought Carlton out here to shake the dust off of this thing. It has not been, uh, we haven't run the thing in two years, time. two years. And this is the one that we are trying to go a thousand miles. Did you hear that? We bought a cheap like bike trip computer for this thing. And uh, that's how we're keeping track of how far we go, where we go, uh, and it's a really budget spec way to keep track of miles on your crawler, uh, how fast things go. Like if you want to do speed runs, you can put it in your basher, your speed basher. That the, or the odometer says, yeah, 148 miles. So that's not super accurate. I accidentally cleared that um, when it was about, it was at about 100 miles. Uh, so we're actually around 248. I'm not sure what the exact mileage is anymore, but uh, I made the mistake of clearing it in the software and it uh, cleared it on here as well. So we've been keeping track of it pretty well ever since then. So the experiment with this is to go a thousand miles. What is that? And we're just gonna see how everything looks after a thousand real miles. There's another freaking Shit. There's That's another weird. frisbee golf thing. All this out? Ah, they must. I don't remember the frisbee golf things here last time. No, they were not. Uh, what is all the running gear gonna look like after a thousand miles? Really, what's it gonna look like after 250 miles? And we're pretty close to 250. So Carlton is a Charisma SCA1E. Uh, this is pretty much 100% stock. The only modifications we did was a light kit. We are using my Spectrum DX5 Rugged because when you're holding that thing for hours and hours at a time and going a thousand miles, there it is again. What the heck? When you're going that far for that long, uh, you want something comfortable. The servo failed at about like 20 miles. Uh, so we upgraded the servo in the thing. Uh, just a budget spec unit in there that's uh, plenty good enough for a budget spec crawler. And other than that, Carlton is on the stock wheels, stock tires, stock shocks, stock motor, stock ESC. Uh, ooh, yeah, that looks real wet. Fun fact, I don't think Carlton has ever had a bath. Well, I think it's time for a freaking Kentucky bath. So this place has lots of like really interesting hills, some off camber hills, lots and lots of trails back here. Uh, and it's hard to tell on camera, but that is a pretty legit hill full of ruts and everything. And Carlton just loves it. I know my thighs don't. Yeah, feel the burn. Clean, but steep. It just drops off right there. Hold on, let me go down and try and get it from the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy crap, that's a big one there. Of all the miles that we've put on Carlton, very few of them have actually been on the roof or uh, tumbling end over end down the hill. It's been pretty reliable. Even though it does have some questionable uh, some questionable parts on it. Most of the links are plastic. The axles are plastic. The drive shaft angle coming out of the transfer case is really, really sharp. Uh, oh, <laughs> wheels, wheels, wheels. Oh, there's a good 30 feet on its roof. <laughs> so we've got a lot of crawlers. I don't know how many crawlers we've got a bunch. Yeah, a lot more than what people would assume because we, <laughs> We don't use them a lot. That's kind of the bummer of it. But we've got we've got crawlers that we take out like just to like go over obstacles, you know, just for like rocks, just for this, just for that. But we've also got a few that are just meant for this, like just out hiking on the trail, hanging out with your buddies. Like when we come out here with some of the guys that we race with, we have a blast out here. We just hang out outside, uh, just laugh, BS, 
and uh, it's a super fun time and you don't need a really super capable rig uh, to do it. You just need something reliable. And for that, Carlton is a freaking champ. I mean, just look at him. Look how proud and noble. There's another Frisbee golf thing. No way. Like we are in the middle of nowhere. That Those are railroad tracks right there. Like you're not coming from over there, over here. And there's a big creek right there. Who is playing Frisbee golf back here? Oh, it's getting deep quick. It's getting deep quick. <laughs> come on, Carlton. Yeah. Yeah, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Maximum berries. Yeah. Uh, well, that got a lot deeper than I thought it was gonna. I don't know if that trip computer is uh, waterproof or not. Oh, dude. It's not recording our distance. I think the app is though, so we should be okay. I took a look at the app and we definitely weren't okay. For whatever reason, I couldn't get the thing to sync. Even when I stopped recording on the actual device, it, it said that it was syncing, but when I would go through and look to see uh, the map and the trip, it, it just, it wasn't there. So, uh, check that out. <laughs> what an awesome log jam that is. I told Ethan I would if he would. Nah. Yeah, dude. It's not like someone put that there. That got jammed there. So things that have worn out on Carlton. Uh, I mentioned before the servo died at like 20 miles. It did not last long. But really, you can kind of expect that for a budget spec crawler like this. And the foam inside the tires is almost completely like non-existent. Uh, that might have something to do with age that might have something to do with just the ton and ton of miles that we've put on this thing. Pure lack of maintenance. A hundred percent lack of maintenance. That's really honestly about it. Other than that, the gearing still sounds fine like a normal crawler. The drag brake is still phenomenal. You can dang near get this thing to wheelie and endo effortlessly. It's still holding up fine i would kind of like to go in and take the gear case off and just look at the gears and kind of see what's happening there and i would suspect the first thing to go is probably going to be the motor it's just a super cheap brushed motor in that thing and again we don't do any sort of maintenance to this thing we're just leaving carlton kind of on his own i would kind of like to pop off a wheel and look at the bearings uh, and just see, <laughs> just see if they're worn or anything. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think. So we're about 250 miles on this thing right now. So we're about a quarter of the way there. And keep in mind, that's us not even touching this truck in the last two years. So I'm no, I know that you guys have been asking about Carlton. What's up with him? And he's still here. He's still around. So I promise we're going to get the crawlers out more. Uh, and you'll be seeing more of Carlton. And let me know, what do you, you want to see down below? Should we take them apart and take a little peek inside now that we're a quarter of the way there? Oh! oh! <laughs> nice. He's okay. But that's what it's all about, coming out here, experiencing just being outside. It's been so cold this winter. Uh, it's nice to finally be back outside and doing something with the boys, you know? A cooped up winter we had. Oh, gracious. That oh, was a brutal couple weeks. It was, dude. Just negative Nancy degrees. <laughs> so we've been out here for a little while now. It's starting to get dark, and uh, yeah, we're putting the miles on this thing. Just hanging out, having a good time. You should do the same. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm glad you found it. We like to do RC shenanigans like this all the time. We've got some wicked stuff coming up. You're going to want to stick around. All right, guys, until next time. What are we chopping? Woo. Chopping my calories out here. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. 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 Keep going. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, I love Carlton. It's so much fun. Shout out to Ethan for getting that awesome uh, license plate, too. Yeah, that's okay. He's
he's back up and go, he's up back up and running again. Is he? Yeah. Oh man, we gotta get some more. 